Palve. I am an official consultant for Canada Immigration. I am a member of ICCRC Canada. Now, today I would like to talk about this AIPP program. AIPP means Atlantic Immigration Pilot Project Program. This is really an interesting program. Now, let me explain you the basics of this program. This area, this area of Canada is called Atlantic Canada. In this area, there are four important states. One is Nova Scotia, then Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland and Brunswick. Now all these four Atlantic provinces have come together and they have started this program. In this program there are three streams. Now particularly we are operating from India. So the first two streams are important. Which are the two streams? One is the highly skilled program for AIP migration, second is intermediate skill program for AIPP migration. Now in the highly skilled program, you must have at least one year of experience in last three years. Second thing, you should have a work experience in either NOC code A, B or O. So there are a lot many people who are having experience into that thing. Third important thing is that the language requirement for this particular program is very less. It is CLB4. If you convert it into ILTS, it will be at least 4, 4, 4 in reading, speaking and writing and 4.5 into listening. Now this ILTS capacity is very easy to achieve. So what is the catch in this particular program? That to be successful, you must have a job offer from a designated employer from this province. So that is absolutely important condition. Unless you are not having a job offer from a designated employer in from this Atlantic provinces, you are not eligible to apply for this thing. So even this program looks very attractive because of that thing we have to really work hard to get the offer. Another issue, another problem with this particular Atlantic program is there are not very high numbers available and they, these uh, total number available is around 3000 and again they are distributed in more than 10 occupations. Now this is a pilot program. They are planning to make this program much bigger. So of course, thinking about this program is always a good thing. The second variant of this program is for intermediate skills. For intermediate skill, your NOC code should be C, under C category. Now under C category means all these so many semi-skilled jobs, like clerical jobs, like manual jobs, can come under NOC code C. But basic condition remains the same that you must have a job offer from a designated employer. You must have at least one year's experience in last three years and you must have funds, both these programs, you must have funds to support yourself also. That is again an important condition. So showing the funds to support possible Getting this ILTS score is not very difficult because it is just ILTS around 4 point. But what is the critical thing? Getting a job offer from a designated employer in this particular region. We are having excellent contacts into this region. We are activating our uh, contacts and we are trying to arrange a job offer for our, our clients who are interested into this program. So, those who are interested, please contact us. Thank you. Thank you for.